especially don't tell Joe Biden, I don't think that there should be any debates. I do not think that the president of the United States has comported himself in a way that anybody should, and, and that has any association with truth, evidence, data, and facts. I wouldn't, I wouldn't legitimize a conversation with him, nor a debate in terms of the presidency of the United States. Now, I know that the Biden campaign thinks in a different way about this. All right. Torture talk, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to talk about Nancy Pelosi and her saying that this guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> Joe Biden, <laughs> Joe Biden shouldn't debate Donald Trump. She don't think that they should have a debate. Before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. Uh, the Cash App and the uh, PayPal is in the description if you want to leave a donation. It helps the channel. But the best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. Or not. You know? So, let's get into this. The reason why I'm smiling so much and I'm and I'm I'm laughing because this is very hilarious. This is very hilarious to me. It's hilarious how it's just hilarious how this how 2020 is. It became a thing where 2020 is like probably the most infamous year. I mean, 2020 we have came into 2020 I don't think there was ever any year that I can say that is more infamous than 2020 so that being said Nancy Pelosi take several seats please go sit your ass down sit your ass in the back and sit down and be the speaker of the house like you are. Shut your ass up. There shouldn't be no debates. See, this is how you know that the Democratic Party is broken and it's all over the place. And they don't even communicate with each other. So you're going on record saying it shouldn't be no debate because you feel as though that he stalked Hillary Clinton in 2016 debates so you don't think that you should have a verbal what you say legitimized or a verbal a confrontation or i would say discussion or debate because that's what it is a debate with donald trump because you feel like he's going to spread lies here's my here's my thing with you nancy pelosi and that's why i'm telling you to sit your ass down Here's my thing. A debate is for people to figure out who's telling the truth. I can't understand for the life of me why you would say you don't want Joe Biden to debate Donald Trump if Donald Trump's a liar. If Donald Trump's a liar, why don't you want him to debate Joe Biden? It doesn't make any sense to me. This is why I say that the Democratic Party is broken. It's all over the place. If you looked at the DNC, you would know it's all over the place. They're all over the place. Some of them recording stuff that was pre-recorded, didn't even mention the vice president. Some of them doing this. You got this person talking about this, endorsing this person, even though I know that's what the rule was, but still you got them endorsing this person and that person is this and that person is that. What did Kamala Harris say to the guy? To that guy? What's the perception? But what is the perception? 
I'm gonna ask her the same question. What's the perception? What does it look like? They're all over the place. So for you to say that this man shouldn't debate just lets me know that you really don't have no confidence in your candidate. You really don't believe that Joe Biden is going to go out there and do well. You really don't. Excuse me. You really don't. So I totally believe that the Democratic Party is broken. They don't know what to do and they're just saying anything. And for you to say, I know the Biden campaign is gonna disagree with me. You should be in tune with the, um, the Biden and uh, the Joe Biden campaign. It should be you, you talking to them about things, not going on national television and saying, I don't think he should debate because it looks like, now it looks like Joe Biden is weak. I don't believe that Joe Biden is capable of debating Donald Trump. I just don't think it's gonna happen. I think I think that they're gonna debate and Joe Biden is gonna do halfway good and everybody's gonna say he did really well. And, if, and every time Joe Biden make a mistake, they're gonna say, oh, he misspoke. Oh, he didn't really mean it that way. He meant it this way. They're gonna make a bunch of excuses up for Joe Biden. I'm gonna tell you right now, because he's going to get demolished. He's gonna get demolished. That's what debates are. Donald Trump is probably one of the best debaters ever in politics. It's not even that he's the best debater as in he's the most knowledgeable because sometimes being a great debater don't mean that you have more knowledge than somebody. You can just outpower them or you can say things that will get the crowd reaction. It's kind of like it's kind of like battle rap. You got a bunch of battle rappers who are more performance based and they hit you with a little punches here and there, a little bit of bars here and there. But a person that's really good with lyrics, sometimes they can't beat somebody that's a very good performer. Performers are what people come to see sometimes. And in this case, Donald Trump has a lot going into this. And Nancy Pelosi knows this. She knows that that Joe Biden been in in in, in uh, politics before her. So Joe Biden, Joe Biden's been in this this game fifty years, and he hasn't really done anything significantly to help certain people or to help people. Period. He hasn't really done anything. Donald Trump's been in office for three years, and I can say that he done a lot more then probably Joe Biden now and people could say well Joe Biden probably uh, did some backdoor deals or did some things behind the scenes but we're talking about what's on record so I'm saying that he's going to get slapped around and she knows it that's why she brought up him stalking Hillary Clinton because she know that Donald Trump is a great debater and on top of that He's not going to let you over talk. And he is going to make Joe Biden look stupid. It's a lot of things going into this debate that he can use against Joe Biden. He can say that your vice president really don't even like you. And on top of that, your vice president thinks that you're, she, ble she believes you're accusers. It's so much stuff that he can say to Joe Biden. Now, again, there's some things that he can say to Trump. But I believe that Trump can get out of those things like the oh, or there's good people on both sides. We all we all know that that's not the truth and we all know what it really is. But everybody wants to go along with the narrative. It's like we all know what he said, but everybody wants to go along with the narrative and not know the truth. But anyway, Nancy Pelosi, take several seats, please. Sit your ass down, please. Sit down. You're making matters worse. Nancy Pelosi is making matters worse for the Democrats. Period. Everything she says, she need to be silenced. They need to shut her up. Because she's making matters worse. And on top of that, Joe Biden makes matters worse when he talks too. So you got two people. 
making matters worse when they talk. Sit your ass down, Pelosi, because you are tripping if you're saying that they shouldn't debate. They should debate because, number one, this is what it's all about. Everybody wants to see this. So for you to say they shouldn't debate, of course, you know, we all know that that was your opinion. But still, what did, what did Kamala say? It's the perception. The perception. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.